Do you know what happens during a chemical reaction? Well, let's jump inside to the molecules to find out. Let's make sure we start out by understanding what chemicals are, which are any substance that we know the molecular structure of. All 118 elements on the periodic table are considered chemicals by scientists, like carbon is made of all carbon atoms, or hydrogen is made of all hydrogen atoms. These are chemicals. The other category of chemicals are compounds. These are substances that we know the molecular structure of, where more than one type of atom are stuck together, like carbon dioxide is always CO2. And vinegar is made of molecules of CH3COOH all stuck together. So let's go back to our example at the beginning with the baking soda and the vinegar. They're both chemicals with these set molecular formulas that we know exactly what is inside of them. When they react with each other, they form water, H2O, sodium acetate, NaC2H3O2, and some carbon dioxide, CO2. But they're not all present at the same time. So how does a chemical reaction work? Well, if we look at our spoonful of baking soda, there's tons of molecules inside, and the vinegar has tons of those molecules too. During the reaction, all the molecules start breaking apart and feverishly rearranging into water, H2O molecules, sodium acetate molecules, which are slightly bigger as you can see, and finally the carbon dioxide bubbles that we see coming out. That reaction takes a little while to happen as all of those original molecules have to break apart and rearrange into the new substances that are formed. And so at the end here in this glass, we no longer have vinegar and baking soda. We have water, sodium acetate, and all the carbon dioxide bubbles bubbled off. That last little piece shows that there was some energy released in this reaction, which sometimes happens during chemical reactions. So during science class, when we write these equations out, we have to make sure that we're reflecting the reality of what really happens inside of a container for a chemical reaction. And that's the fact that we're not creating or destroying atoms. We have to start and end with the same number of atoms because they just rearrange. So we start and end with one sodium, which is great, and three carbons before and after. Before and after, we have five oxygens and we also have five hydrogens. And so when we write this equation out, we know that we're starting and ending with all the same number of each atom, so our equation's good. So let's take a look at another classic reaction of methane and oxygen, which react in a violent explosion of heat and light that we call fire, as they break apart and rearrange to form carbon dioxide and water. At first glance, this looks like a beautiful, easy little reaction. There's only three types of atoms involved. But when we try to break apart that methane and rearrange it with the oxygen, we can form one H2O and one CO2, but there's still an oxygen atom left over, and that can't happen in real life. So what we find is that as we rearrange these atoms, we actually need an extra oxygen molecule so that this whole reaction can happen completely. So here we go, two oxygens. And we get then one H2O. We get two H2Os using all those hydrogens and one CO2. So we have to put a coefficient of two in front of the O2 and the H2O because it requires two oxygen molecules to fully react with the methane so that we get carbon dioxide and water molecules at the end. Those coefficients help us to reflect the reality of the reactions. And now we have a beautifully balanced chemical reaction that reflects the reality of what happens in nature. We start with one carbon and we end with one carbon. We start with four hydrogens and we end with four hydrogens. And we start with four oxygens and we end with four oxygens. They just rearrange into different chemical compositions. And we've got the same number on both sides of our arrow. So what happens during a chemical reaction? That's right, atoms rearrange and form new substances with new chemical compositions.